What's up guys, welcome to the Kaizen Inventor channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at this cool water spraying alarm. It is based on the Arduino microcontroller and its basic motive is to spray water when the alarm rings to make you wake up faster. So without any further ado, let's get started the build. Components are a clock, a sprayer bottle, the heart of this project which is an Arduino, a 9 gram servo motor, some jumper cables and a couple of crocodile clips. Alright, so the step one is to grab the sprayer and you want to open the sprayer from this pivot point and you would probably find a spring inside. So you want to discard the spring or if you have any low power spring then you can attach so that the tension could be reduced and the servo can pull the sprayer's arm. Now you want again this to clip on and act as a sprayer without a spring. So now let's proceed to the second step. Now take the 9 gram servo and make sure that the arm of the servo is in the line with the sprayer's head. Now you want to place the servo on the collar of the bottle in such a way that it rests on the bottle. Now you want to secure it tightly with a, with a zip tie so that it doesn't fall off while spraying. Now let's move to the third step. As you can see there are three cables coming out of the servo motor, orange, red and brown which stands for signal, power and ground cable. So now we want to connect these cables to Arduino via jumper cables. The signal cable would go to the ninth pin of the Arduino. The white cable which is the ground would go to the ground pin and the red cable for the power would go to the 5 volt. So now let's go to the further step. Alright guys, so now you have to drill a couple of holes on the bottom of the sprayer and you also need to enlarge the hole of the servo arm. So these holes are for linking them both together. Now these holes would contain a rod. So I have bent this rod in a curve so that the movement of the servo could not be restricted by the body of the sprayer. So this hook would go in one of the holes of the sprayer and the other part would fit into the servo's arm. Now these are designed so that when the servo moves it would pull the sprayer's arm and whenever the servo moves back to its position it would push the sprayer's arms creating the action of pumping and hence the water would spray out from the sprayer. Alright so this step is a bit trickier. So, whenever you open your clock machine, it could be of type A or type B. In type A machine, there are two contact strips and two contact pads, while in type B, there is a single contact strip and a single contact pad. Now, you want to firstly check the polarity between the strip and the pad and find out the positive one. Same with the type B. Now, after finding the positive one, you want to stretch out a wire to Arduino analog pin 2 and same with the type B. You want to solder the wire to analog pin 2 of the Arduino. Now the next step is to also to take a common ground from the battery of the clock to the Arduino ground and same with the type A too. Now sometimes it could be inverse and the strip would be positive while the pads would be negative. So you want to be careful while checking the polarities. In my case I have pre-done it and have two wires coming out of my clock bodies. One is for the ground and one is for the input. So now let's connect the clock wires to Arduino. First clip on the crocodile clips to both the wires coming out of the clock and now extend it with some jumpers. So connect the ground of the clock to Arduino ground so that a common ground could be generated and the signal pin to analog pin 2. Alright, so now let's move to its software side. 
all right so now let's jump to the software part and the code part so let us understand the code so first of all we include the servo library which is recommended for the usage of the servo next step we define the pin a2 as alarm and we define our servo name as my servo now we create an integer having the position of value is 0 now this 0 is in degrees so it means the starting point of the servo also we create an other, another integer named as s we would understand that in the later part of the code so now let's jump to the void setup so we we set up the serial monitor at 9600 baud rate and we define our attach of the servo to the pin number 9 of the Arduino now again we clarify that the pin mode that the alarm is an input device and we also regulate the pull up resistor with the alarm analog pin so that we do not get any random value and get an accurate value of the alarm now in the void loop what we have done is we have used an if statement and conditional statement and we have generated a condition that if the analog read of the pin number 2 analog is less than 100 then it would state that the alarm is on and we would serial pin print it in the serial monitor and if this is the case then what it would do is that it would use a for statement and we would first define that s is always a 1 s will start as a 1 in fact and s should be less than and equal to 10 in any of the cases and then a simply a counter for s plus plus so in the for statement I have mentioned the command my servo which is name of the servo which we have defined in the starting of the program and write function which means to make the movement of the servo leg to the 180 degree position from 0 to 180 degree then we would include a delay for the servo and then we would state that again make a movement of the servo to the degree pos or and we have defined pos as 0 degrees now you can always take the pos value as the 0 and write it di directly but I thought it would be nice if we mention this so then again we would make a delay for thousand, uh, thousand microseconds which means a one second so now this cycle of 4 would repeat up to 10 as we have defined the condition that s should s should be equal or less than 10 now after this cycle repeats 10 times we have a delay for 9 seconds which means that the user of this uh, instrument would get a 9 second delay to turn the alarm off otherwise it would again start to sprinkle the water now if this is not the case then simply just serial print that the alarm is off and that is basically all in the part of the code and it is very straightforward so now let's go to our testing section now you want to upload the code to Arduino the code will be available free on my website link will be in the description after uploading the code the final product looks something like this i have set an alarm and now i would make it ring I am not showing the whole process but it would continue to spray up to 10 times. Here you can see it spraying in the screen mode.
and here the sprayer is playing in the spray mode. Alright guys, that's all for this video. If you like my video, then make sure to leave a comment and hit the like button. And yes, do not forget to subscribe to Kaizen Inventor.